Hi, thanks for joining in. Uh, I'll, just a quick video, just to show you my uh, kitchen phalaenopsis grow area. Um, so basically, I have decided that um, some of my primary hybrids and species phalaenopsis will be grown in the kitchen um, on this shelf. Um, my husband put the shelf up a few years back and um, I did have some decorations on it. Um, but um, I'm slowly running out of uh, space um, for my orchids and I thought it would be this shelf would be great space for my fowls. So because they are primary hybrids and some of them are species, they do require higher light than complex hybrid phalaenopsis. Hence, I have installed two Berina grow lights on the ceiling and I have got my phalaenopsis on this shelf and also I have got two corner shelves on each side of the shelf where I keep um, more phalaenopsis and obviously and some odd little so I've got a little uh, anturium here uh, pallidiflorum and I have got um, blue oil fern as well by the way I would love to show you this blue oil fern because the colors are absolutely stunning absolutely gorgeous and um, I love the blue um, hues on this on this foliage um, and some of my phalaenopsis obviously are blooming now I love this juicy color of this phalaenopsis speciosa uh, and I will try and get excuse me for the um, excuse for flickering of the lights I will try and go a little bit higher standing on my kitchen dining table um those flowers are, are going over there we go they're dropping now i need to um, i can't cut the spikes off because obviously those those phenolopsis will rebloom from those spikes there we go there's another one purple mountain and this one which obviously very very awkwardly growing its flower in direction of the wall <laughs> and there we go how beautiful and because of the obviously kitchen um, it, the temperatures are quite high the humidity is quite high because I cook quite a lot I've got this gorgeous aglaonema um, chocolate I think legacy is called I got it off, off Etsy um, it's not the agronema you can just buy off the internet really easily, it's quite rare. Um, there we go. Yeah, so the temperatures are quite high, the humidity is really high here, and obviously the light is pretty high coming up from the Borina um, grow lights. And there we go, that's the result. My summer blooming fowls are blooming in the middle of the winter. There we go. Again, I'm sorry for the light flickering here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.